So on this week's episode of Servant, we see Sean making a very interesting dessert. We see that uh, Leanne doesn't like broken promises, and Dorothy might have found her number one fan. We're going to talk about that and much more. Episode 4 of Servant was titled Bear. Leanne disobeys an order and discovers why Sean is so protective of baby Jericho. What's going on, everybody? Elliot back again with my weekly breakdown, recap, and review of the latest episode of Servant. Today, we're talking about episode four, and I'm excited to talk about it with you all. But before we dive into the spoiler discussion, do me a favor. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you can stay up to date with my latest Servant reviews and all my other Apple TV reviews, all of my other TV reviews, movie reviews, and all the fun things we do on this very channel. And if and when you've seen this latest episode of Servant, I want to know what you all thought about it. I want to know if you guys would have tried that lobster ice cream. Let me know your theories of what we found out at the end. Let's have some fun discussions in the comments below. So let's kick off this spoiler discussion with a breakdown and recap of the episode. So we start off the episode um, with a a bit of a flashback. We see uh, uh, Dorothy uh, is pregnant. Uh, You know, she's waiting. She's calling the baby Henry and saying that it's going to have a sister and and this, that, and the other. We just see somewhat of a different dynamic a little bit because you know so far in the three episodes we've seen Dorothy and Sean kind of have this awkward tension and some awkwardness to their relationship but this is the first time I've actually seen them both happy in one scene so we get that there and um we see Sean is checking on Leanne and the baby, which looks like the baby and Leanne are sleeping together, which uh, is kind of weird for a nanny to do, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But a lot of the, the biggest question for me, for uh, from me to you all, is would you have tried that lobster ice cream? Have you ever had lobster ice cream? And does that sound as disgusting as me saying it? I want to know you guys' thoughts in the comment below if you would have tried that dessert. Me, personally, no, because I'm not a fan of lobster. And then mixing it with ice cream? Let me know in the comments what you guys uh, thought about that or if you've even tried it and if it's something I should maybe try uh, and maybe when I lose my taste buds like uh, Sean has, maybe I'll try it then. But anyway, um, we see some more stuff going on. You know, Sean brings up a good point. He, you know, later in the episode, he says that all she does is pray, eat soup. And I noticed that that's all she eats is soup. I wonder is that any going to play into anything at all? Does she not have taste buds? Is she wooden inside like Sean maybe? Who knows? But I thought that was a very interesting touch there. So one of the things so far about this episode and, and all the episodes so far is just the matter of factness of everything. I don't know why it's getting under my skin that no one has addressed the elephant in the room of where this baby has come from. Why is Julian continuing to come over the house and just say, oh, how, what is the weirdo doing today? Like, why is it just so, like, nonchalant? I understand Sean's trying to protect, and we also see in this episode, we'll talk about this here in a bit, that he's trying to protect his wife. He's one that keeps Dorothy in a good mindset. We've, we've seen in this episode that there's been plenty of uh, of uh, baby tests and unfortunately babies that have died in their history of having kids. So I understand all that dynamic, but it's just still kind of bothering me that they're just acting so calm, cool, and collective about this mystery baby that's in the house. And Sean and Julian knows this, and they have you know Leanne walking around the house. It just is baffling me. If it, is it bothering you all as much as me that it's just like just so calm that this is a, this is the situation? I don't know. But anyway, uh, as the episode progresses, we see. Sean decides to put a, uh, takes the camera out of the baby doll and puts it in uh, Leanne's room to spy on her and see what she's doing. And essentially, all we see in the episode is her sleeping or praying, eating, and sleeping with the baby. Uh, she's not doing too much, no weird stuff going on, no witchcraft, no craziness going on. So, so far, it's just kind of a boring, uh, uh, you know, spying that Sean has uh, discovered so far. And, and I'm I'm just seeing myself as the episode progresses. This is just evidence of Sean just coming out to be a creep. He's Someone's probably, Dorothy's going to find that iPad, see that he's spying on her, think he's having an affair with her. I can see that in a couple of episodes from now that, you know, they're going to have some fight and she's going to find that video and they're going to have this big old thing. And I don't know. I'm just calling now that she's going to find that video. And I think that's going to be a big fight later in the season, but we'll see. Um, you know, Dorothy wants to take Jericho uh, to work, um, and, you know, Leanne's excited about that, and we kind of know why later in the episode, but she seems to be very excited, but unfortunately, Leanne has a change of plans, and, you know, she <laughs> she asks Sean to tell her politely, and he just rudely says, you're not going, and again, I kinda, I'm starting to feel kind of bad for Leanne. We all know she's kind of creepy. We don't know what the situation is, but I, I feel kind of bad the way Sean's treating her, and I, I can kind of understand where he's coming from, because, number one, we found out last week that she's dead, uh, and, you know, where are you 
you're coming from? Who's this baby? So I I get where Sean's coming from, but at the same time, she's just playing this character so well. The actress, uh, Neil, what was her name? I gotta look up her notes right quick. Uh, the actress that plays her, uh, Neil Tiger Free, who's I didn't even put two and two together. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. I forgot that she was on Game of Thrones. She's a she's a great actress in the show. She's doing a really good job in the show, and I'm loving her awkwardness and her creepiness. Uh, but uh, you know, I just feel so bad for her when Sean just kind of dismisses her and just doesn't take her feelings into account. But you know, we see Sean, you know, convinces uh, Dorothy not to take the baby to work. And it, another complaint of mine that I keep bringing that I forgot to bring up in my last week's episode is their accents keep cutting in and out. And particularly Sean, played by Toby, he has the the New York accent. He loses it. He brings it back. He loses it. A little minor thing, but I always catch it when he does his New York accent. He just jumps in and out of that. It's so bothering to me when people do fake accents. But anyway, as we kind of wrap up this episode here, we continue to see. Leanne on, you know, she records herself as she's doing her news and live shows. And obviously she's doing that probably to, you know, be a better reporter and, and see herself on camera and getting better and better. But, you know, we noticed throughout the episode, we see her doing these shots. I'm wondering, is her news clips alluding to anything in particular? You know, this episode, it talks about the sewers and a tunnel. It talks about some mor- murder case and there's a murderer still on the loose. I don't know if that's going to tie into our main storyline, but I'm finding that very interesting that we keep getting these clips of her at work. And I'm thinking one of these clips, obviously, in this episode we see the clip was we saw Leanne with baby Jericho there and that was kind of maybe alluding to that but I'm thinking there's something more to that story other than what we get towards the end of the episode but I'm wondering if one of these clips are going to play into what we're going what's going on in this storyline what happened in Wisconsin if that family actually died I'm wondering if that's going to allude to something but we go back to the flashbacks. We see a box of all the babies that unfortunately have died as, as they try to have kids. We find out she has this immune system that eventually kind of, you know, the kids die due to, you know, whatever's going on inside of her. And we see that, you know, why Sean's so protective over Jericho and why he's so protective over, over Dorothy's feelings and emotions and things of that nature, which was, you know, a moment there. You see that Sean does actually care for her because, again, their relationship so far this season has been very awkward and weird and that's M. Night Shyamalan I know he's not the, the you know the full-on writer but I know a lot of his movies have that awkwardness and that kind of quirkiness and that dark comedy so it was really kind of nice to see Sean kind of embracing her and being very sensitive to her you know losing all those babies that they had so as we wrap up the episode we see Leanne's like looking through or hearing through the door because the baby is now sleeping with Dorothy and, and Sean. She walks downstairs. She pulls out a tape from 2011. She plays the tape and we see Dorothy interviewing a bunch of uh, young young girls at a beauty pla- pro, uh, uh, pageant. And the camera slowly goes to a young girl from Wisconsin named Leanne as she's twiddling, twiddling her thumbs. And we go back to her and we see her do the same thing. So now is it alluding to she's a super fan? She's a weird fan? She she got this baby and, and maybe knows more about Dorothy than a normal fan would know. So she took this baby and brought it into their house. Who knows? That was a very interesting little, little interesting uh, nugget that we got at the end that she, you know, because earlier in the episode, Dorothy asks Leanne, oh, have you ever been on camera before? Was that your first time on TV? She says, yes, Dorothy, that is. And obviously we know she lied because she was on television eight years ago. So very interesting little spin there. I'm very intrigued in this show. Uh, I'm, I'm loving all the cooking moments, even though he's making some weird dishes. I like watching cooking shows, so I like watching him cook those dishes. But very interesting there. Let me know what you all, your theories are. Who is Leanne? Is she this obsessive fan? Is there more to it? Is it more dark and sinister than what the service has given us so far? Are we going to find out why Sean has let, lost his taste buds, why he has this wood in his eye and his ear and coughing it up are we going to get more of that in the coming weeks and what is the deal with julian just popping by and dropping off wine every other episode let me know your thoughts in the comments below that's my thoughts i really enjoyed this episode i'm really intrigued by the show i'm very curious on what's to come and is this am i just overthinking it it's going to be dark and sinister or is it just going to be just a simple thing like she's a super fan and she kidnapped this baby to make her her idol happy i don't know let me know what you all are thinking in the comments like and share this video subscribe to my channel make sure you check out all my other Apple TV Plus content. I did a review for the first three episodes of Truth Be Told. I reviewed the season finale of C, did the latest episode of uh, The Morning Show, and check out all my other TV reviews, movie reviews for Honey Boy, Little Women, and Marriage Story. Keep an eye out for some more content coming up pretty soon. Thank you all again for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.